Um, so I'm going to see what the results are now. Welcome to another video. Um, I'm Jenna, I run the Vega. Um, I show people how to formulate cosmetics, also formulate my own. Um, I'm also a hair extension stylist um, and I help with uh, business, the small businesses as well. Um, I, today I'm just going to go around and do some bits and pieces that I need to do. I need to check on my uh, dip slides from the other day. Um, we've got a house walk around of our house build. Um, and I do need to make some conditioner bars, um, so come along with me and we'll see what happens today. If you remember the other day I was testing um, some products from a manufacturer abroad, um, so I'm going to see what the results are now, because it's been actually about 48 hours. And that looks really good. There's nothing bacteria wise nothing mold wise and that was the bullet lipstick and then that's the bacteria side that red is the the actual lipstick there's no there's no bacteria added to that that's just the lipstick that's smeared on there and the same with the other side nothing so that's really good. That was the liquid lipstick there. So that's what we'd expect. If we were testing a product from a manufacturer that was supposedly, you know, in a lab, hygienic processes, that's what you'd want. You'd want absolutely no presence of any bacteria, mold or anything. So based on this, I can pretty much assume that that factory is, um, a good one to use um, that they're doing everything they say they're doing um, and then it's up to me if I want to do any further challenge testing uh, myself in a lab um, but yeah I'm very happy with those results so if you are doing any uh, white label products from another um, manufacturer I do suggest doing this it just gives you peace of mind because you do want to keep your customers safe um, that little bit of uh, what well, looks like water at the bottom that's just condensation that's perfectly normal that comes uh, when you're doing these um, just because they're kept at a constant temperature but yeah that's really good right uh, now I've tested those first thing I need to do is try out a conditioner bar recipe I've never been overly convinced by them in the past they've always felt quite like tacky um, so I'm going to give this a go and see what comes of it and uh, yeah, follow me along.
One question I get asked quite a lot is how do you clean up after you've made cosmetics? Well, first thing you do is this, you take a cloth and you just wipe out as much excess product as you can possibly get. Um, basically so the beaker looks pretty much clean. I actually spray it with isopropyl as well just to clean it out as much as possible. And then you can just wash it as normal like you would your dishes um, just with uh, washing up liquid and normal tap water um, just the key here is just leaving them to air dry so that you don't get little fibers on the products uh, whilst they're drying and uh, then spray with isopropyl alcohol I also do a middle step where I use sterilization tablets and distilled water um, and then I'll leave to dry and spray with isopropyl again and then I store them in an airtight container um, this is so dust and bits in the air can't get to them and then they're ready for use next time I need to make something. I'll be honest, I'm still not a fan of these. I, I've actually followed um, a recipe, um, well a few recipes by people online now and I'm guessing this is how they're supposed to be but <sighs> To me, they just feel like draggy, <laughs> if that's the word. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna try formulating something myself um, and seeing if I can come up with something a bit more like what I would expect from a conditioner bar um, because these, these are not what I'm after. So it's Friday and we've just been to see how a house build is doing. Um, I'll stick some photos there. Um, and now we're off to Ikea for a bit of inspiration and also to get some dinner. So we're back home now, cup of tea and uh, consolation biscuits. Does anyone else's husband like have a full IKEA meatballs meal and then go and have a hot dog as well? Yeah, well today he was denied. Um, so we're back home with tea and cuddles with the cat. It's the next day, uh, we've gone out for a nice uh, breakfast at the farm shop and then coming back to make the IKEA furniture. Um, of course I got him to help me because I really, I always do something wrong and then just ruin furniture. Um, but look, they're right here and ready for some soaps and wax melts and all the new products that I'm going to make shortly. Um, and I think I'll leave the vlog there um, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I will get better at vlogs as I get a little less shy, I'm sure. Um, until then, uh, I'll see you in the next one.